tool, but it can be kind of confusing at the start because there's quite a few options to go through. So today we're going to go over uh, how to, number one, access the reset tool, and then also those multiple options that are available to you in the reset tool. And after that, we'll also talk about the uh, requirements that uh, a password needs to fulfill in order to be accepted by the system. So, and after all of this is done, we'll also uh, do a quick demo, show you what the password reset tool looks like and how it behaves. So here, let's go to the next slide here and we'll talk about how to access the reset tool. So basically you can access the uh, password reset tool from any browser, um, any computer, be it a Windows machine, a Mac, your iPad, an Android tablet, or anything like that. Anything basically with internet connection and a web browser. And you'll want to access the tool by going to smu.edu slash password. And um, you can even do this on your phone as well if you're out and about and you absolutely have to change your password. Here uh, on the slide, it looks uh, like this in your browser. And there will be these uh, four options here, the enroll, the reset, the change, and the unlock tools. And uh, now we're going to go over what uh, these features actually do in detail. And also uh, another URL here, as you can see in the screenshot, is uh, pwreset.smu.edu. But I find that the uh, smu.edu slash password is a little easier to remember. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll go over the different options that you have in the password reset tool. So first off, we have the enroll tool. And the enroll tool is used, especially if you're uh, setting up your account for the first time. And uh, what this allows you to do is actually set up the reset tool for your account so you'll be able to recover your password if you ever lose it or um, anything like that. So uh, what the enroll tool will do is that it will ask you for your SMU ID number and then it will also ask you for a password. Uh, that will be your current password. And uh, then it will ask you to set up a set of three security questions and it'll give you a whole bunch of options in terms of questions for you to use. Um, for example, your first pet's name, the color of your first car, uh, the mascot of your original high school, things like that. And uh, you'll want to set up a set of questions that are easy for you to remember but hard for other people to guess. And so once that's done, uh, you will be able to um, go to the reset tool, which is our next option. And um, if you ever lose your password, uh, for some reason your password isn't working, you can uh, try to reset it this way. Um, it will ask you for your ID number, and then it will prompt you to answer the questions that you created. So it will then ask you those three security questions, and if you answer them all correctly, then it will uh, allow you to create a new password. And uh, this is normally uh, what we use if uh, the change and unlock tools do not work for us, if you ever ex experience any problems with your password. And so for the next option, it is the change tool. What uh, this option does is uh, allow you to change your password if you actually know your current password. And for example, your password will be expiring soon or uh, something like that, or you just want to change it as a security measure. So you'll go to the change option and it will ask you for your ID number and for your current password and then it will give you an option to create a new password. Once you enter those fields, it will check to make sure that your old password is correct and if so, it will update your password to the new one. And also the uh, unlock tool, which is the last of the four options, it will uh, allow you to unlock your password if uh, for any reason you log into an SMU computer or try to log into SMU email and it tells you your account's locked or your password's invalid. This is always a good first option to try, the unlock tool. So whenever you click on unlock, it will ask you for your ID number and then it will also ask you those security questions. It's pretty much just like the reset tool, except it won't ask you to reset your password. It will just tell you that your account is now unlocked, so you can try to log in with your current password again. If it doesn't work, or if any of these options don't work for any reason, feel free to contact the help desk. Our number's 214-768-4357. Uh, we'll uh, 
put that up on the screen here at the end of the presentation, but if you ever have any problems with the tool, feel free to give us a call. And so now, after we've gone over these options here, we're going to talk about how to create a safe password. Your password here at SMU is a pretty important one because for a lot of people, your password protects a lot of personal information and we want to make sure that you're able to create a secure password that's easy for you to remember but also is hard for other people to guess or for uh, hackers to uh, discover your password through a brute force attack of any type. And so the passwords will, be, uh, will need to meet these criteria and uh, number one, the passwords here at SMU expire every 180 days, which is around six months. And uh, every six months, you will need to change your password to uh, be something that's com pretty much completely different from your previous passwords. So um, it needs, like I said, it needs to be something difficult to guess, but easy for you to actually remember. Um, we always recommend to avoid dictionary words, just plain words that are used in common language since they're the most common um, uh, words that folks will try to guess when they're trying to uh, find your password. So uh, here's basically our four most basic criteria for an SMU password. It needs to be at least eight characters long. It needs to have at least one capital letter and at least one number. and uh, I always recommend to folks that are creating their password for the first time to also add symbols to their uh, password. A good way to do that would be to take a word, for example, I'm going to I'm going to use Peruna as an example. I don't recommend you use that for your password, of course, but uh, say you want to make your password the word Peruna. Well, there's no um, numbers or symbols in that so what I always try to do is replace some of the letters with numbers that kind of resemble the letters so for example E would be changed into a 3 or um, an A would be changed to an at symbol things like that so that also it makes it easier for you to remember since it's based on a word that you know but it's also uh, using special characters that will be harder for somebody to guess and uh, also, the password cannot contain any part of your name. So don't, uh, don't put in, for example, I wouldn't put a password of Zach123 because that wouldn't go through the system since that's the name that I have on record with the university. And it's also something that's very easy to guess. So that's the basics of creating the safe password for use here at SMU. And uh, there isn't really an upper limit of how long the password can be, um, but of course, just leave it to a reasonable amount that, of course, you'll be able to remember. So now uh, that concludes the presentation portion. We'll uh, move along to a quick demo here, but uh, if you ever need help with the password research, wait, reset tool or really any other SMU resources, feel free to give us a call. Our number is 214-768-4357. Or if uh, you would prefer to have a secure chat session online with us, you can go to smu.edu slash help. And also, I neglected to put our email address on here, but you're more than welcome to send an email address or an email as well at help at smu.edu. So now that uh, this quick presentation is done, I'm going to take you through the password reset tool here. And so this is the website that you will uh, land on when you go to smu.edu slash password. And I'm going to go through the options here one at a time, starting with the enrollment tool. So we'll just click on enroll here, and it will take us here to this enrollment page. And so here it will ask, of course, for your SMU ID, and I'll go ahead and I'll enter mine here. And then it will ask you for your password. And now it has the list here of the three questions. And as you can see here, it will bring a drop down menu with all of the different options for a security question. Like, for example, father's year of birth, uh, you, the color of your first car, and also what your childhood nickname was. And so you choose these uh, questions and you'll fill out the answers here. And once you click next, if uh, your password checks out, it will set these questions as your security questions for future use. And so I'm not going to go ahead and go through it since I have a set of questions I already want. So 
let's go ahead and I'm going to back up over to our tool again. And uh, now we're going to act like we've lost our password, forgotten it, or something like that. So we're going to try and reset the password entirely. You do know that you have set a set of security questions, so you go to the reset tool. And it will then ask you for your ID number. And I'm not going to go to the next one just as a security reason since I have some questions set up on my own. So, uh, But if you do click next, it will bring up your three security questions. And it will then, uh, once you type in the questions, if all of them check out, then it will allow you to uh, set a brand new password. If for any reason this doesn't work, uh, sometimes the answers will be case sensitive. So if you did capitalize uh, the name of your first pet, um, on the question and you didn't capitalize it in the answer on the reset tool, it is possible that it may reject that. But if you do have any problems with this uh, system, feel free to give us a call and we'll uh, be happy to help you out. And uh, also, so we'll go to the change tool here. And this is, uh, like we've mentioned earlier, whenever you, uh, whenever your password's close to the expiration date and you want to change it beforehand, you'll type in this uh, your ID number here in this form and then you'll click next and then it will take you to a page where it will ask you for your old password and then it will have you also create a new password and confirm it and then once you click next if your old password is correctly entered and the new password matches the criteria that we uh, require of SMU passwords it will update your password and so also, the last tool here, we have the unlock tool. Like I said, it's basically exactly like the reset tool, except it doesn't actually reset your password. It simply unlocks your account. And so basically all you would do in this case would be to type in your ID number and click next. And then it will uh, ask you for your security questions again. And once those are answered correctly and you click next, it will unlock your account. So you should be able to log in again. So that is pretty much the uh, entirety of our password reset tool um, and how to access it. Uh, once again, if you have any questions at all regarding the reset tool or any SMU services whatsoever, we'd be more than happy to help. That's uh, what we're here for. Our uh, phone number again, 214-768-4357. And our email address is help at smu.edu. And I believe that is uh, all that I...